What's going on guys? My name is Nick and today I just wanted to talk to you about my top favorite bands. Um, these are just special bands to me, my top five. I really love music. If you do, please stay and uh, join in the comments to tell me your favorite bands because we all got a bunch of different selections. I'm just here to express my opinion. Everybody has opinions, just like the channel says, you got opinions. Let's just talk about it. So for my favorite band of all time, is Blink-182. I've been wanting to talk about just my love for this band for so long. I have so many opinions about it. I would even make a separate video just talking about Blink-182 if I could. But uh, going into uh, just Blink, my favorite band. And I thoroughly enjoy just how they started from 94 with Cheshire Cat to um, where they gained their success and damn it, um, oh, damn it. And Dude Ranch. The song Damn It is really good. Dude Ranch in 1997. And uh, I just thoroughly love uh, Enema of the State. Great album. If you haven't listened to that album, give it a listen because I feel like it's almost perfect. Like 9.5 out of 10. A couple songs just good enough, but the rest phenomenal. I followed them since about 2016. I've heard like, you know, all the small things and probably either I miss you or first date, but I just, I didn't know much because I didn't have a huge music upbringing. I really didn't get into like lots and lots of music until my later high school years. And finding Blink took some time because by 2017, when their deluxe edition came out, that's when I started to get really obsessed with them. I love that deluxe edition. California was really good. Um, so that was the deluxe edition I'm talking about. Um, California I did like, and then the deluxe edition was just even better. Ten more songs. Um, it took me like just a little bit to realize that Tom DeLonge wasn't in the band anymore, and it was Matt Skiba. Because I was, I was like, why do they sound different? So then I did research, obviously, and I was like, oh, okay. It's kind of sad because of how much I just love those early albums, and I'm just was like i wish he would be in the band so then uh, i listen to angels and airwaves in my free time as well but obviously they don't have as many uh bangers to in my opinion as blink but they're still different in their own regard i love blink 182 my favorite album is uh enema of the state that might be you know kind of the, everybody's pick but for me that's just my favorite one and uh you know i got to meet them at um their concert last august california it was awesome. We got the fist bump then. Matt Skiba talked to me a little bit. And I thoroughly love that concert because it was their uh, 10th anniversary of Animal of the State. So another reason why I love that album so much. But if you want my thoughts more on Blink-182, I will definitely make another uh, video. Just, just Blink. I would love to just talk for hours about Blink. I love him to death. Um, Mark Hoppus is the man. I love him. Or my second favorite band, The Killers. You know, Mr. Brightside first song I ever heard I always thought that song was unique and then the more I heard it over time and I got older I was like man this song just never dies down it's phenomenal not my favorite song by them anymore now my favorite song is really hard because they have a lot of good songs at first or uh, after that it was all these things that I've done and then it changed to um, here with me but I think at the end of the day my favorite one is probably um, smile like you mean it that one just has like a special sound to it and uh lyric wise it's just written unique just i i never heard any song like it i remember hearing it on the radio and i was like this is the killers like it, i mean it has those synthesizers but man it just i feel like it's just the the best one in my opinion obviously in that album and that's still my favorite album by them i love sam's town when you're young um sawdust obviously isn't exactly an album uh but having that collection of songs still uh mixed with like a couple new ones it's, it's still pretty uh enjoyable in its own right i feel like they just haven't had that much success as their first album like they just blew up and i wish they would have a comeback caution the new song phenomenal music i love that song to death fire and bone took me a couple listens obviously i don't like that as much as caution but i still find it to be an enjoyable killer song i'm interested to see what the rest of the uh, album is going to sound like but that caution song 
is the most killer song I've heard since probably the Runaways um, or Battleborn album. Not Runaways. Runaways is a good song. The Battleborn album, I really think. Uh, but even past that, like the Caution song really doesn't like it sounds the most killers in a long time. I, I just really like that that song. It's it's a really good killer song. I'm glad they had that song come out. And, um, you know, they they have a lot of good music, guys. If you haven't if you haven't heard the killers, just check them out. Phenomenal band. I got to see him live once. I really want to see him again. I hope I get to do that someday. Phenomenal band. Third, Jimmy World. This band I did not like right away. I remember the middle, and that was all I listened to. And then the more I actually gave a crap about listening to their music, like um, the new album came out, Five 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 was one of the new songs. Surviving, um, I, I checked that album out. I was like, okay, this is different. And then I wanted to check out more of their older stuff. So obviously I went back to uh, that album with the middle. And then Sweetness is my favorite Jimmy World song. That song, I think, is in my top 10 of favorite songs of all time. And it's really hard for me to pick songs, but I think Sweetness is just a really fantastic rock song. Like, uh, Sweetness and Smile Like You Mean It, like, go hand in hand about songs, specifically with bands. Um, also, In My Blink, favorite song is... Uh, uh, Adam's song. That's why I got confused because it both had the, had the word song in it. And I was like, ah, yeah, Adam's song. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Adam's song for Blink-182, uh, Killers, um, Smile Like You Mean It, Jimmy Eat World, uh, Sweetness. So, yeah, Jimmy Eat World, they don't have too many albums. Um, I, I really respect what they have made. Um, obviously, they had way more success. A lot of these bands have a lot more success in the beginning than they do now. Obviously, I think it's just because of the climate, the way music is, especially with rock bands. Um, except Blink. I mean, Blink obviously isn't as popular, but they still have a pretty big following. And their least, uh, or uh, their latest album had a, uh, I mean, it was up there. Like, they got a little bit more up there in popularity wise because of the album. Um, a couple of trending songs, I think. Dark Side, I Really Wish I Hated You. And I mean, they were featured on Chain Smokers and Excess Temptation. Um, and they made a Christmas song. They were making a lot of music this past year. And I'm kind of waiting for that EP to come out because apparently they made a song with Pharrell Williams, which I'm just like, okay. And then Little Yachty. Like, that one I'm not exactly psyched for because I'm pretty sure that's just going to be them rocking out and then him doing like one chorus verse or something. I don't know. The Kendrick Lamar thing. Or, uh, Kendrick Lamar. The Lil Wayne thing. No, that Lil Wayne thing. I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. You did not sing What's My Age Again. No. Uh, fourth song, Motley Crue. Now, obviously, this is a little bit of a different gap, but I'm doing my top five, and they do change over time. But Motley Crue, I love every song that they make. Obviously, there's higher ones than lower ones. If I were to pick one to be my favorite, <laughs> I would probably have to say... It's got to be Dr. Feelgood. That song, I just, I think that's an amazing song. Dr. Feelgood is just fantastic. They go, um, just, I mean, I'm not trying to like judge it by saying all the songs they make sound the same, but in a way they do because it's their trademark. But I just like the, that they sound like that. Like I can listen to any song they record and because it sounds like that, I just super dig it. It's like really good. I love Motley Crue. Um, I know that they were supposed to be touring again, and that probably is canceled too. So it really sucks this year for a lot of things getting canceled, because I really wanted to see them and Ozzy Osbourne. Also, I have honorable mentions, which I will say after my fifth favorite band, which is My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance, another band that is having a reunion, which I was supposed to see. Don't know if that's going to happen because it's on October. Just got to wait and find out. But obviously, they're a huge cult following. They broke up and then now apparently they're back together super insane when they announced that i'm pretty psyched because i grew up listening to them as one of my f first early rock bands besides green day um my chemical romance it's just really hard for me to not put that in my top five because they just have that really distinct rock sound that i just thoroughly love and there's so many great songs my favorite song is disenchanted from the Black Parade. I just love that album. Obviously, it's their like most well-known for the most part. 
and I think Disenchanted is just one that gets so overlooked. That was the first song I listened to that really got me hooked in their music besides Black Parade. Um, and then after that would grow on me. I listened to all their other songs. And I just thoroughly think that each of these five bands have such a unique style of writing. They both have what they want to say and what they want to do. The different genres mashing into the main rock uh, selection of what they're trying to play. Because they're always on the rock radios. They're always on um, those type of stations unless they go super popularity on their songs they're always on those pop stations as well but i think they all do what they set out to do killers my second favorite band you know each band has had little letdowns here and there obviously my chemical romance not exactly because they well the letdown would have been is that they broke up but music wise they haven't if they make new music see what happens uh i would like music but at the same time i don't want to tarnish the music that they had made before we'll see what happens there um but besides that guys they don't really do like or these bands haven't really done anything to like really mess up music wise you can say like maybe they're just copying themselves here and there but i think for the most part these bands have always been really special and unique to what they have been setting out to do and so for the most part, I'm really happy with the way these bands have uh, shaped the music industry. And so for my honorable mentions, I want to mention Van Halen, Boston, The Cars, Foo Fighters, and Weezer. Van Halen, that's how I feel about Motley Crue, but obviously not my top five. I think I can listen to almost any Van Halen song. I mean, I can listen to all my top band's songs, but for honorable mentions, Van Halen, I can listen to any of his songs. I grew up listening to Jump, so after I grew up and listened to more of his songs, I could just feel like I totally vibe with his music. Panama is a great song. Miss uh, Ice Cream Man. It's, just, it's so different and unique, but it's such a time period song that it just worked so well. Boston, I really got into more recently in the past year. Um, obviously, I heard more than a feeling so many times, but after after actually listening to uh, that album. Peace of Mind has got to be one of my favorite songs of all time as well. I love Peace of Mind. Great song. They kind of don't have a great track record after that second album. They just don't really hit the mark anymore for me. But that doesn't, you know, push away the fact that they've had amazing music in the beginning. And for The Cars, I believe The Killers had a lot of inspiration from The Cars. Brandon Flowers, I think, took a lot of inspiration. You can kind of hear in his voice the way he sings and how they use the rock. I think they took a lot of inspiration. That's another why I like the Cars. Cars are just thoroughly good band. Foo Fighters, I still have not seen them. And I've been wanting to see the Foo Fighters for so long. Because I just love how hard they rock in their music. Their last album was pretty good. I liked, you know, Skies and Neighborhood, The Line, those type of music. I really am interested to see where they would go on another album. But it just intrigues me so much how Dave Grohl came from Nirvana. And then made his own band and just became just about as popular or maybe even more of a band as nirvana was it's really interesting to me and for my last weezer as i said um in my honorable mentions they're making a new van weezer album based on van halen i'm really excited for that i thought hero was a fantastic song um, i liked end of the game when it came out but it's been so long so i was like what's the rest of the album gonna sound like hero came out I think it's even more superior than the end of the game was, but I, I really liked it, and I hope the album is just as good as those two songs were. But uh, Weezer has a pretty good track record. They have a couple albums where they just don't do too much of their Weezer stuff. They try different things. The Black album being probably my least favorite Weezer album. Still had some enjoyable songs on there, but not standout songs to me. Like, I feel like the Van Weezer album's already on a higher uh, pedestal than the Black album, but... Uh, if you guys want me to talk more about these bands um, in more detail, these are just me listing things I like about them and putting them in a rankings list. But uh, yeah, guys, that's my uh, top five favorite bands and some honorable mentions in there. So if you like this video, hope you stay, subscribe, comment down your favorite bands. Um, I'll be making more videos as the days go by. We're all in quarantine. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.